What's going on guys, in this video I will tell you why I stopped doing deadlift, alright? I haven't deadlifted in a while and if you're asking, well, my back is pretty good I know a lot of people would say that you have absolutely to deadlift to build a great back Well, it's not true, alright? I'll tell you exactly why If your goal is building muscle mass, alright? Hypertrophy, building muscle mass, bodybuilding Deadlift is not necessary and you shouldn't waste your energy and time on it. Now, if your goal is strength, lifting heavy weights, power lifting, getting as strong as possible, well, by all means, it's a good compound movement that will help you work your whole body and help you also engage your core throughout the lift. You can do it. But if your goal is building muscle mass, you want to isolate also your muscles. Compound movements are good, but also at the same time, you're putting so much energy. Why? Because the deadlift is very taxing on your nervous system, all right? All your nerves have to fire up for you to lift that uh, weight of the, of the floor, especially when you're loading it, you're going heavy, you're putting a lot of weight, you're going for one rep max or even five rep maxes. It's very taxing on your nervous system, all right? Think of your body as a phone with 100% battery charge. Well, you just did your deadlift, you gave all your energy, you drained almost 40%, all right? After your deadlift sets, you did your heavy weights well, it was so taxing on your nervous system that now you're almost drained for the rest of your workout, all right? I'd much rather you do other exercises that are more focused on hypertrophy. That's reason number one, very taxing on the nervous system, especially when going heavy. Number two, the risk of injury is just insane. I injured myself six, seven months ago doing deadlifts, and trust me, I was healing and going through that process of rehab for months. I'm still kind of going out of it, but I'm still feeling it, all right? I hurt my herniated disc. And if you might think if my form was good, my disc, that, well, probably my form was not good for that one rep. But you've been, let's say you're doing a deadlift, you're going for six, seven sets and you're building up your weight there, it's super easy for you to miss up one rep. Sometimes the breathing, the engaging the core, some person pass by next to you and boom, you round your back a bit, you don't breathe well, you don't engage your core, you don't brace. What happens? Your lower back takes that toll and you're injured for a while. Trust me, I couldn't even bend for almost a week. I was barely able to walk, all right? It was a nightmare. And since then, I'm like, why am I deadlifting? Is it really important? Is it really gonna build my back? Well, my lats are pretty good, all right? I'm doing dumbbell rows, I'm doing bent over rows, which are more focused on my lats, but deadlift on its own, it's gonna work on my posterior chain, but is it really needed? My lower back, well, I can work and do it, I don't know, doing reverse lower back extension, doing Superman, doing reverse leg raises. For my, for my hamstrings, I can do stiff leg deadlift. So that's something that another point I want to talk about is that stiff leg deadlift is a lot different and is isolating your hamstring, all right? It's still helping you moving from your hips, you're hinging, all right? You're bracing your core, but it's really isolating your hamstrings, which I think makes a lot more sense when you're trying to be a bodybuilder and build muscle mass, all right? Because when you're doing just a regular deadlift, I can't believe that you have to do that to build your back because yes, your lats are engaged, but it doesn't mean it's... I don't think it beats any rowing movement, pull-ups, and a good combination of back workouts, all right? This is, it does work your back, but it's not the, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the, the most important back movement as people want to believe it, all right? We've been put in our mind of the big three lift, the squat, the deadlift, and the bench. Well, I'm barely doing them these days, and trust me, my workouts are just amazing, and I'm feeling that I'm progressing, I'm seeing the progress, and my mind-muscle connection is a lot better when I'm kind of uh, focusing more on my muscles instead of doing those compound movements. Now, uh, should you do the deadlift when you're starting? Because you got to build that base also somehow. I did build my base doing a lot of deadlifts when I was younger. Well, here's the thing, is that when you're starting also, most of the time your form is wrong. So a lot of people that start, they want to go right away on those compound movements and they want to lift heavy weights on the deadlift. We see all the 17 years old trying to deadlift as heavy as possible. The form is wrong. And if you think about it, they're only focusing on moving the weight from A to B. So there is strength, there is explosion, but is there any real muscle activation? All right, there's a difference between moving the weight and contracting your muscles to move a weight. All right, focusing on the mind-muscle connection. And I just don't buy it that deadlift is that important i might be wrong but i stopped deadlifting for a while and i've been doing great and trust me my legs are improving my back is improving 
and I'm not risking the injury, the central nervous system stress. I don't have it anymore. All right, so there you have it. I don't deadlift. I would do stiff leg deadlift. If uh, I can do also, what is it called? There was this other exercise uh, with a bar where you're putting the bar on the rack. Uh, my, oh my God, the name is kind of... Uh, rat pulls. Rat pulls would be good because rat pulls now you're kind of really isolating your lats and your back and you're not going all the way down where you're putting that lower back in a, in a lot of pressure which is not needed. All right. It's not as if, if you deadlift you right away grow a, a crazy back. So that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share and I'll see you soon. Ciao.